Hello fellow mega lovers, how are you guys doing today? So I'm excited for this video as always because I'm going to be talking about the new indie makeup releases from the past week and what I think about them. I'll try and make this video a little bit quicker since last week's was pretty dang long. I didn't realize I was just chatting and chatting and chatting and then when I went to edit it, it was like 40 minutes long and I was like, whoa, <laughs> you need to calm down. So I'm gonna try and breeze through this and hopefully get it done before my son wakes up from his nap, but just to get a little bit of I was about to use the Hannah Louise Poston uh, phrase just to get a little housekeeping out of the way. First, I want to say that my makeup look is with the Ready Set Summer palette from Max Up the Makeup, which just looks like this. I'm in the middle of filming a three looks and review with this, which I uh, I asked you guys if you wanted to see that like a month or two ago, but things got in the way. So that's what I'm working on right now in case you like what's going on in my face. I've got Lace from Terra Moons as my highlighter and then Moon Moonchild from ColourPop. On my lips. So this video series is inspired by Aniela Kanikis and Samantha March. I'll have both their channels linked down below as well as all the Instagram accounts that I use and the community will I buy it playlist. Let's go ahead and jump right on in. So there's a lot of beautiful things for us to discuss this week but there's been only one product that I feel I am genuinely probably going to purchase. I would say about 80% because it's still just a sneak peek. We haven't seen the reveal but Touch of Glam Beauty posted this photo and it says coming soon there's one, two, three, seven, ten shadows, and it's in black and white, but it says the pastels. I literally, when I saw the snake peek, I gasped. Like, I audibly gasped. I was like, oh, pastels, like, yes, which I know, like, look at the picture, like, they're going to be super metallic. They're not going to be matte pastels, which I really want to see more matte pastel collections come out, but I'm, like, a full metallic pastel collection, like, yes. Yes, I'm so here for it. I really love the Touch of Glam formula. It's so buttery and gorgeous and mm, I'm so excited. I'm so, so excited about this collection. Like, I'm imagining it in my head. So this is the one thing that I'm like, yes, like I need to save room. I don't know when you're coming, but I need to buy you. So it's on my mind. So next is some new shadows from Shade Beauty. And I'm not sure. I think these are probably pressed. They do press shadows and they do loose ones. I'm not exactly sure what these are, but they're pretty. There's like, basically, it's kind of definitely my vibes. It's all lighter, really metallic-y, shimmery, glittery type of shades. Like those all look like something I would put in my inner corner, but I know I don't need them. And I'm not sure what this collection is called, but most of the shades just don't really... Like, the names also just don't really vibe with me. Like, I'm not really, like, gonna say, like, I'm gonna put killing you hoes in my inner corner. Like, that's, that's not exactly my style. Um, the one called Roman's Revenge kind of made me laugh because Roman is my son's name. So I think this is pretty, but I don't plan on purchasing anything from the collection. And then next I wanted to talk about some new palettes from the Cosmetic Apex apex which last week we talked about the climax palette and i was like you know that's not my vibes because it's a warm neutral palette but they've revealed two other palettes i'll throw the whole collage on the screen they've got the vertex palette which is pretty much a rainbow palette missing a few shades from the rainbow there's a lot of orangey ready shades which i feel like that entire there's like a little quad of reds i feel like that's a little unnecessary to have that many reds because a lot of times reds tend to blend out and look the same. So not really into the vertex all that much. I mean, it's it's bright, but the other one is the pinnacle and that one does it looks like it has two shimmers in there, but it's like it's that thing where like all the colors are colorful and then there still has to be that one pop of gold. So none of these are really my vibe. So I don't plan on purchasing them. All right, next is a new sneak peek from Bombshell Cosmetica and my heart, my soul right here. This is all green shadows. It looks really beautiful. Uh, it has a really nice array of green shadows. I like the shimmery options. I like the matte options. It looks really beautiful. I know I don't need any more green shadows. <sighs> I don't need any more. <laughs> I don't need any more. I'm just going to keep telling myself that over and over again until I believe it. So this definitely obviously caught my attention. 
and I'm curious to see what the actual palette's going to be and the theme and everything. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see on that one. So next is another new palette, Sneak Peek from Dew Color Official, which I believe last week we talked about their super green palette and how beautiful it was, but how it was ruined by one pop of pressed glitter and again here we are this is a fall blue palette and again I feel like they did a really good job like there's a good amount of different type of blue tones here there's like lighter ones mid-toned ones deep ones there's like a true blue there's like a minty blue uh I mean it's a good array but there's that pop of glitter in the middle and I'm like I wish it was a metallic shade so it's a pass for me I think this one, I'm not as into blues, and I have quite a few blues in my life recently, so I wouldn't see myself purchasing this either way, but it, I'm not interested, basically. So next is some new palettes from Moon Pie underscore UK, which I'd never really heard of before until I saw this picture, uh, which I was tagged in, and from my understanding, these are like uh, what's it called, like AliExpress type of palettes or something that they're also available on Amazon under some other brand's name. So if you really like the palette, maybe you can search around and see the cheapest price that you can get. And these are actually really pretty. So I think it's kind of obvious that they do look like ColourPop palettes. They definitely made me think of ColourPop palettes right away, but also at the same time, they're just monochromatic palettes. So does that necessarily mean that they copied ColourPop? Maybe not. Maybe they just wanted to do a green palette, a blue palette, a purple palette, and a warm tone palette. It, it, I don't think it takes that much creativity to just be like, oh, I want to put a bunch of greens in one palette. You know what I mean? And I actually really like the greens in the green palette. Like there's a pop of yellow. There's some like bright greens, some grungy greens, a little pop of blue. Definitely really like that one the most. I think the purple's beautiful. I think the blue is beautiful. The blue kind of reminds me of uh, Blue Bud because it has a few pops of neutrals. So I think these are pretty, but I don't personally plan on buying them. Whew, I only drank half a cup of coffee today and it shows I'm tired. All right, next, this is exciting. This is from Asgard Queen Cosmetics. And I mentioned this bundle uh, a few weeks back, I would say, probably. And it was four duochrome loose shadows and I said that I thought it was really pretty the swatches look nice but I'm not really as inclined to purchase something that is loose and now they are releasing those shadows as pressed shadows which is exciting um, I'm not sure if these are the normal 26 millimeter pans because I showed a picture of the palette in the hand and they looked very 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 small so I'm curious to see what the pricing is but I definitely, I like the fact that they're pressed. I like the fact that they listened. Um, I'm sure I'm not the only one who said it. I'm sure other people probably did too. I feel like in general, people just prefer pressed shadows. So I think that's cool and maybe I will try them eventually. They're not like at the forefront of my list of things I want to try, but it's cute. All right, now let's talk about Sugar Pill and the worst sneak peek timeline ever. Ever. I don't understand what happened here. So Sugar Pill sneak peeked single shadows before 2019. I remember it being at least a month or two before 2019 started because I remember Georgia Harris talking about them or maybe I saw her comment on something because she's on a, like a, a like a no buy for this year. So she was going to buy these shadows if they released before the year started, but obviously not during the year because it's a no buy. Um, so that's why it's like firmly in my head. I remember it was before the year even started and we are like almost eight months done. Like we're already halfway through July. July is the seventh month, but technically one, two. would that be seven months done or was it seven, seven months done? Okay. I'm sorry. Basically, it's been at least like nine months then because if you add the time at the end of the year as well, since they sneak peeked this collection and it wasn't just a sneak peek they didn't just show like a little glimpse they didn't show just like a little like black and white picture no they showed every single shade they showed them swatched out they had people choose their names i think like they had a full reveal on their instagram and everyone has just been like where are those new sugar pill shadows coming like when are they coming there was i believe six shades six or seven and 
you can see here in this picture that four of them are going to be released July 26th, 6th. So finally, finally, I don't understand why they did that. Like, what happened? Why did it take so, 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 so long? And also on the actual sugar pill picture, someone said, what about the other shades? And they were like, they weren't perfect, so we didn't want to release them. Which part of me is like, great, that's awesome. Like, please don't release something that sucks just for the fact of releasing it together. But also, <laughs> why? Like, why did you sneak peek them so long ago? Not even sneak peek, why did you reveal them so long ago? I feel like whenever I initially saw these, I was like, ooh, that's intriguing. Like, I didn't know if I was going to buy them because I personally feel like sugar pill shadows are good. But here, this is a whole nother discussion. Basically, if you ever want to hear my thoughts on sugar pill shadows, I think that they are good quality. You can definitely do beautiful looks with them. I find them to be more on the buildable side. I don't think that they're like crazy, 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 like pressed pigment, pigmented. But I th also think that they are definitely overhyped. And I have a theory that it's because Sugar Pill has been around for a really long time. So whenever it was hard to find colorful shadows in general, Sugar Pill was like the OG. They had options for people who wanted colors. And now the market has grown so much and so many colors are so widely available that I just cannot justify the Sugar Pill price. And I feel like people go back to Sugar Pill because it's been there for so long. It's been like a foundation, <laughs> not a foundation, like a foundation to just indie colorful shadows. But I, I really, I strongly believe that they're not worth the price. Like they're good, but they're like 12 or something dollars per shadow. No, no, I, w I wouldn't buy them again. Basically I bought them for my birth from them for myself for my birthday last year and they're, they're okay. But no, no, I, I just, I don't agree with the hype. I was already kind of like not sure if I'd buy these, but I was interested and intrigued at least like they had my attention, but it's been so long that I'm just like, nah, meh, like it's fine. I went this many months without them. I'm fine. I think Valoria is really pretty. I love a kind of shade like that, but I don't need it. Alrighty. So next is the Bombshell Cosmetics. Uh, Bombshell Cosmetica times Mary Jane Beauty Mystic Unicorn Palette, which we talked about last week. We saw like the swatches and like the outer packaging, but now we can see what the packaging looks like in full. I said I wanted to revisit this palette once we saw everything so I could fully judge it. And I think it's pretty. I definitely like it. Uh, but the, the, the whole aesthetic isn't really my aesthetic so I've decided I'm gonna pass on this. I really like the colors. The packaging just personally doesn't do anything for me so I've tried to kind of calm myself and with my purchases and say like only buy things that are perfect for me and so this is like half and half because I love the colors but I don't love the packaging as much so I think I'm going to pass. So next is the new lip creams from Sydney Grace Cosmetics, which I think I like, je like just quickly mentioned before, but now we have a picture that has, that has, that has all of them swatched out and these look really pretty. They look like pigmented lip glosses. I'm definitely interested in the shade Chloe. That's my vibes. That's super, super light nude. That's the one that I would go for. Overall, they look pretty. Basically, what I've been thinking recently is even when my low buy is finished, I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing next year to continue trying to be, you know, a smarter spender, but I think I'm going to have myself on a no buy for lip products continuously because I just don't need them and they take so long to get through for me. So I like Chloe a lot, but I don't need it. All right. Next is a new sneak peek from Juvia's Place, and they are releasing their first collaboration, which is exciting, and it's with Fumi, Desa, De, Fumi Desaluvon, Fumi Desaluvold, Fumi Desaluvold. Her name is Fumi, which I don't even know if I'm saying her name right. If I am butchering it, I apologize. She seems to be a much smaller creator because I was 
I quickly creeped on her Instagram earlier. I'm actually going to go back again because she had, it looked like 15,000 followers or something like that. Let me look. Oh, look, she has a way to pronounce her name. Fumi Desilu Vold. Desilu Vold. Okay. <laughs> so she does really beautiful makeup. Like there's this picture here. Like, look how beautiful that hot pink is on her lid. So I was not uh, aware of her. Oh, goodness. Look at look at this one. I love her lids there. That bright blue just pops so beautifully in contrast to her skin tone. So anyways, I was not familiar with her until today when I saw the collaboration. But that's super exciting. I'm very happy for her. Oh, she's got a little video here. It says it's launching the 35th, 31st of July and it will have a multifunctional palette with six pans, two highly pigmented lip glosses, and a makeup bag. That's awesome. So I don't, I don't think Juvia's Place has done lip glosses before. So very curious to see there's a little video going on. So I'm excited for her and I think that's really cool. I know that they sneak peeked it a few months ago and I was very, very curious to see who they would end up collaborating with. So next on my list of things to talk about, this was definitely exciting. I saw this today, actually, Beauty Deals BFF posted on their Instagram story first and I was like, yes, I'm so excited. So Nabla Cosmetics is now going to be sold at Ulta Beauty. Yes, yes, yes. I'm so excited. Nabla is on the list of brands I really want to try, so I'm very excited because Ulta points for one and like cheap shipping and, you know, all that good stuff. They don't really have anything on the website yet that I want. Like they have the Secret Palette, they have Cereal Liner, Major Pleasure Mascara. What is it with this sexualization of mascara? Like it's like black goop. <laughs> Uh, they have their Brow Divine, their Dreamy Liquid Lipstick, and their Poison Garden Palette, which I'm staying far away from that one. I'm not getting that. <laughs> so I'm curious to see if they end up releasing more. All right, next from Sugary Cosmetics, they are releasing some pineapple products. So first, this one I actually think is cuter. They've got the Pineapple Glow Palette, which, I mean, it's definitely corny packaging, but it's cute. You know, it's cute. It's a, it's a highlighter palette, which I don't buy highlighter palettes personally unless I feel like I can genuinely get use out of every single shade. So it's not something I would purchase, but I don't know. I'm kind of happy. <laughs> I'm kind of here for the pineapple. Jeez, I cannot talk. Uh, but I did see someone commented that these are apparently, again, AliExpress type of palettes and that they bought this one for like $5 and the Sugary Cosmetics is selling it for 18 So if it's something you're interested in, that might be worth looking into. They're also doing a pineapple palette, which this one I don't vibe with at all. Like the packaging is just a pineapple. Like I kind of liked the more corny packaging with the sunglasses on the other one and the colors, like they just don't remind me of a pineapple at all. No. Like, I I should actually do that. I should do, like, my perfect pineapple palette and do, like, some DIY colors and, like, use my single shadow collection because I keep seeing people release pineapple palettes. I believe, I believe Tarte did one. I'm pretty sure Too Faced did one. And in my humble opinion, they didn't get it right. So, next is the new reveal from Lunar Beauty Cosmetics. And I was actually very intrigued by this because the packaging, I'll just show the packaging first, is stunning. Like, whatever you want to say about his about Manny's brand, like, you know, everyone's entitled to their own opinion, but you can definitely tell that he puts his heart into his packaging because it looks bomb. Like, all of his packaging has looked really beautiful, even, like, the little highlighters, which I'm still tempted to buy the lightest shade. Like, they just look so cool. So I was instantly intrigued. It was like love at first sight on the outside, but now we have seen the inside and it's actually exactly what I guessed it would be because I was talking to someone about it and I said, I'm guessing it's going to be some soft pinks, a pop of neutral and a pop of blue because the blue is because I saw the campaign picture with the blue on his lower lash line. 
So I think this is pretty. I'm not instantly drawn into the color scheme. Like, hmm. I like it. I don't know. I feel like this is one of those times it's rare where I just look at a palette and I'm like, what would I do with you? I'm very curious to see reviews on this and to see tutorials and to see what people think. I think that the palette, the way that it looks in the picture that's like on like the top left corner, I don't like it as much there. But the way that it looks in Manny's video, it looks softer and it looks lighter and just like it, it has a different tone to it. I like it a lot more there. So I'm also curious to see what the true coloring is. So not something I plan on purchasing. But the packaging. Like honestly I wish I could have the packaging without any like shadows in it. Like I just want the packaging by itself as a uh, um, like an empty magnetic palette. I think it's just so beautiful. All right, so next from Jouer is their new Essential Lip Enhancer Shine Bombs, and this sounds so me right now because I've just been so into sheer lip glosses and, like, really glossy lipsticks, so this looks nice. It's supposed to be a nourishing and moisture-rich balm with a wash of color for smooth, shiny, kissable, baby soft lips. Includes ingredients like Maxi Lip, Shea Butter, Jojoba Seed Oil, and then that's where my screenshot cuts off. So that's as much as I can tell you. <laughs> I'm a mess. But the packaging also looks really cute. So, I mean, if you're into this kind of lip product and you just want, like, one to throw in your purse, it might be worth it. But for me, I have other things to throw into my purse. So I can't justify it. Like I said, lip products, I don't need any more. All right, next is a new sneak peek from Artist Couture. And I think this is our first sneak peek for holiday. It's starting. <laughs> so I, it says maybe it's a palette, maybe it's a highlighter palette, a new product, who knows. It's just a packaging sneak peek, but I can say personally, I'm just not interested because basically I just feel like in, maybe if it's an eyeshadow palette, I don't, I know, I don't think so. Let me ret retract that. Basically, I'm not interested because if it's a highlighter palette, I just don't think it'll be for my skin tone because Artist Couture has a lot of highlighter shades and they only have one that's even close to working for fair skin. I bought it and it's still a little bit too dark for me, so I feel like like even if I wanted to buy their highlighters and use them, like I, I bought one. It's still too dark, so there's just no options for me just to begin, off to begin with. So if it was a highlighter palette, I just don't think I would get use out of it. It would probably be too dark. And if it's an eyeshadow palette, I just, I mean, the packaging is stunning, but I feel like it's going to end up being like the very like Instagram glam neutral kind of colors. I would love to be proved wrong about that. Like if it was like really pretty shades, that'd be cool. So I don't know. I mean, I saw this and I was like, hmm, okay, but I'm just not very interested in this release. All right, so next is the new ColourPop Orangey Glad palette, and I love the name of this. Like, first off, like, just so cute, Orangey Glad, Orangey Glad. Actually, fun fact, I try to correct this the best that I can, but everyone in my family, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a northern thing, but everyone always says orange, orange, like with an A. Can you pass me that orange? And I never noticed until I was like at the end of high school when my friends would tell me like, why do you say orange instead of orange? And I was like, why do I do that? And I noticed everyone in my family says orange. So I try my best to say orange, orangey glad. But I guess orangey glad kind of makes sense because it's like orangey glad, orangey glad. But I don't know. It's a whole thing. <laughs> Anyways, I love the name. It's pretty aesthetically it looks nice but I know I like I do not need this at all for one I don't need any more orange shadows for two I don't buy with the really chunky pressed glitters that are not eye safe so I'm not gonna make that mistake again <laughs> all right next is from Natasha Nona and this is the new coral palette I did not realize this was called coral I was curious Oh, it's, it's a full-size one, so that probably means it's better quality because the minis tend to be not as good as the full-size, and it retails for $48. I think this is pretty. 
I like the colors in here, but it doesn't really scream coral to me. Like there's the one corally peachy matte, but I don't know. I, I would personally do a five pan coral palette a little bit differently. It's pretty, but definitely not something I plan on purchasing. All right. So last but not least is the new ColourPop times Becky G collaboration. This is round two. No, round three. When, where was round two? Wait, was round one was a Salvaje palette, right? I don't know. I, I guess I missed round two. Round three, and it's the Viva collection from what I understand. Vicky Tutorials actually just did a video doing Becky G's makeup, and they showed all of these products, and you can see them in action in case you're curious. And if you don't know who, know who Becky G is, she's uh, a singer. She did the song uh, Singing in the Shower, but she's mostly known now for her Latin hits. So... I think this is pretty, not a, necess not a necessity for me at all, like I try not to give in to ColourPop unless I'm really, really, really in love. The, the whole collection is pretty and I really like the packaging of the boxes. I think that would have been cute if they had incorporated that kind of pattern onto the actual Super Shock Shadows. The only thing I really love here is the shade Cielo, which is the blue shade. It's like a bluey, purple, glittery duochrome, but I know that I don't need any of it, so it's going to be a pass. All right, y'all, so that is everything for today's Any Makeup releases. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!